The proscenium online theatre company is proud to present Simon Paisley Day in their reimagined production of A Christmas Carol, part two. What? No, it isn't possible. spirit whose coming was foretold to me? I am. Who and what are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? No, your past. Perhaps you could cover your luminance. It hurts my eyes. What? Would you so soon put out the light I give? I, I, I do not wish to offend. What business brought you here? Your reclamation. Walk with me. What? Over the edge of this cliff? Uh, no, thank you. I am a mortal and liable to fall. There, but a touch of my hand, and you shall be upheld in more than this. Come. Trust me. Very well. <laughs> was a boy here. This was my school. Your lip is trembling. And what is that upon your cheek? Uh, only a pimple. Never mind. You recollect the way? <laughs> recollect it? I could walk it blindfold. Strange to have forgotten it for so many years. Let us go on. John? Michael? J J John? M Michael! These are but shadows of things that have been. They have no consciousness of us. Wait! Here! The door to my classroom. Deserted, of course. For Christmas. Not quite deserted. A solitary child, neglected by his friends, forgotten by his family, is left there still. Yes. Yes, I, I know. Alibaba! Oh. You came! Of course I came, young Ebenezer. It's Christmas, after all. I knew you would. Shall we have an adventure? I am at your service, young master. Oh. Where's the parrot? Right it's, here. It's ah. Alibaba. Ah. Yes, yes, I remember, oh. Spirit. Where's the pirate One Lord? Christmas time, when right I was left there, here all alone, I Ebenezer. met him. He, he did come shops. just like that. And there's the parrot. Green body and yellow tail with a, with a, <laughs> a thing like a, a lettuce growing out of the top of his head. There he is. Oh, look. There oh, goes Friday, Friday running, for, running his for his life creek. to the little creek. Hello. Ha hello. Whoop. Hello. hello. <laughs> oh, 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 poor boy. I, I wish, I, I wish, oh, but it's, uh, it's, it's too late now. What is the matter? No, oh, nothing, nothing. There, there was a, there was a boy uh, s s singing a Christmas carol last night. I, I should like to have given him something, that's all. But you pay your taxes. Oh. Fan? Fan! Ebenezer! Dear, dear brother, I have come to bring you home, dear brother. Home, little fan? Yes, home for good, home forever and ever. Father has changed and is so much kinder than he used to be. He spoke so gently to me one dear night when I was going to bed that 
I was not afraid to ask him once more if you might come home. And he said, yes, you should, and sent me in a coach to bring you. And you are to be a man and never to come back here. But first, we are to be together all Christmas long and have the merriest time in all the world. Always a delicate creature, whom a breath might have withered. But she had a large heart. So she had. You're right, I will not deny it, spirit. God forbid. She died a woman and had, as I think, children. One child. True. Your nephew, Fred. Y yes, Fred. Let us see another Christmas. <gasps> Do you know this place? Oh, know it? I apprenticed here. Yo ho there, boys! Why, it's old Fezziwig. Bless his heart, it's Fezziwig. Alive again. I say yo ho there. Ebenezer! Dick! Dick oh, yes, sir, Mr. Fezziwig, sure. right here! Bless me, yes, there he is. He, he was very much attached to me, was Dick. Yo ho, my boys! No more work tonight. Christmas Eve, Dick! Christmas Ebenezer! Let's have to shut us up before a man can say Jack Robinson. <laughs> Ilio, Ilio, clear the room, my lads. Let's have lots and lots of room. Ilio, Dick. Oh, cheer up, Ebenezer. Clear away. We shall have a dance. Where's my wife? <laughs> Where's my <me> wife? She's here. <laughs> Dick, hop on the fiddle. <laughs> come, come, dance with me, my dear. Oh, she's still got the moves. <laughs> so is he. <laughs> come on, Dick, put your wrist into it. A small matter to make these silly fox so full of gratitude. Small? Is it not? He has spent but a few pounds of your mortal money. It isn't that. It, it isn't that, Spirit. He, he has the power to render us happy or unhappy. His power lies in words and looks, in things so slight and insignificant that it is impossible to add and count them up. The happiness he gives is as great as if it cost a fortune. My time grows short. Quick, outside the warehouse. Come. Belle? My dearest Belle. And you, in the prime of life. I was a fool even then. It matters little to you. Another idol has displaced me, and if it can cheer and comfort you in time to come, as I would have tried to do, I have no just cause to grieve. What idol has displaced you? A golden one. Oh, this is the even-handed dealing of the world. There is nothing on which it is so hard as poverty, and there is nothing it professes to condemn with such severity as the pursuit of wealth. You fear the world too much. I have seen your noble aspirations fall off one by one until the master passion gain engrosses you. Have I not? What then? Even if I have grown so much wiser, what then? I am not changed towards you, am I? Our contract is old. It was made when we were both poor and content to be so. You are changed. And when it was made, you were another man. I was a boy. You are no longer what you were. I am. I release you. Have I ever sought release? In words? No, never. In what, then? In a changed nature. In an altered spirit. In everything that made my love of any worth or value in your sight. Tell me, would you seek me out and try to win me now? <laughs> no. You think not? I would gladly think otherwise if I could, but if you were free today, would you honestly choose a penniless girl? You, who in your very confidence with her, weigh everything by gain. And if you did choose her, if for a moment you were false enough to your one guiding principle to do so, I know that your repentance and regret would follow. I do. And I release you with a full heart for the love of him you once were. May you be happy in the life you have chosen. Wow. 
Spirit, show me no more. Conduct me home. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you despise. Why do you delight to torture me? Show me no more. was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power. Let me go on a straight A Christmas Carol was brought to you by the Proscenium Online Theatre Company in association with Punch Presentations. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts.